Good morning and welcome to 101010 at Poets House, the poetry library in downtown New York City. Poets House is the place for poetry, poets, and all things verse. I'm Dave Johnson, poet and playwright and your host of 101010, where we invite you at 10 a.m. on weekdays for 10 minutes to write a new poem. And in 10 days, you'll have 10 new poems. This morning on 101010 times 2 here at Poets House, we're looking at the poet Naomi Shihab Nye. And as you can see, we have many books here in the library by Naomi. Uh, Naomi is a poet originally uh, from San Antonio, Texas, right? And she has written some incredible, incredible work. And she's a good friend also of Poets House and has read here several times and done many programs for Poets House. So I'm really happy to introduce her work to you today. The poem I'm going to introduce to you today is called Burning the Old Year. Burning the Old Year as if letting everything from the previous or from the past go, right? And how uh, she approaches this in this poem, Burning the Old Year. And I want you to pay special attention today to the line break, right? Each line, in a sense, being sort of fully baked, if you will, before she goes on to the next line, sort of phrase by phrase. And that's the element of poetry that we're really going to focus on today is the line break with uh, Naomi's poem, Burning the Old Year. Letters swallow themselves in seconds. Notes friends tied to the doorknob. Transparent scarlet paper. Sizzle like moth wings. Marry the air. So much of any year is flammable. List of vegetables, partial poems, orange swirling flame of days. So little is a stone. Where there was something and suddenly isn't. An absence shouts, celebrates, leaves a space. I begin again with the smallest numbers. Quick dance, shuffle of losses and leaves. Only the things I didn't do crackle after the blazing dies. Naomi Shihab Nye, Burning the Old Year. Let's take a closer look at this poem for just a moment. In Burning the Old Year, each one of these lines is an individual phrase that really is self-contained before she goes to the next one. And that's what I want you to pay special attention to this morning Letters swallow themselves in seconds. Notes, friends tied to the doorknob. Line break. Transparent scarlet paper. Sizzle like moth wings. Marry the air, right? So five line breaks in this first stanza. Letters swallow themselves in seconds, right? Notes, friends tied to the doorknob. Transparent scarlet paper. Sizzle like moth wings, marry the air. You can just sort of imagine everything just going up in flames, right? And in her second stanza, so much of any year is flammable, right? That statement, that's the one line. And then she moves on through the line break, list of vegetables, partial poems, line break, orange swirling flame of days, as if all the days are even burning up here. So little is a stone, she says, period, end of line break, end of stanza, where there was something and suddenly isn't, line break, and absent shouts, celebrates, leaves a space, line break there too, I begin again with the smallest numbers, line break and a stanza break, and she goes into this last and fourth stanza, quick dance, shuffle of losses and leaves, only the things I didn't do, line break, and then the last line, crackle, after the blazing dies. After this flame dies away, that's the only thing left crackling are the things I didn't do, right? This is what I want you to do this morning, right? She calls this burning the old year, right? I want you to start a poem, she starts her poem, Letters Swallow Themselves in Seconds. I just want you to make a statement. Start with an object. She starts with a letter, right? This obviously could be letters in the forms of letter form, or it could be actual handwritten letters. I want you to think of an object, right? Could be a table, could be a camera, could be uh, a bottle, anything. 
right, and allow it to do something in that moment and then break it with the phrase. Each time you get a next phrase, I want you to consider making that line break. But don't break the line until you feel like it's, as we said, a fully baked thought, right? So that, that thought itself is where you go on to the next line. Almost as if you were having a conversation. You know when you're talking to someone and you say, well, do you remember last night what happened? Right? That's like a line break. When I called you and you didn't answer. Right? So it's just like there's just little moments. Right? I want you to think of that as you write your poem. So you're going to start with an object. She started with letters. Right? Letters swallow themselves in seconds, she says, and that's where she breaks that line. So I want you to start with an object and just see where this takes you. And again, as you flow through this, right? in this case, everything is kind of getting burned up, starting with the letters all the way down to uh, where she gets to the dance, the shuffle of losses, and even leaves right, are being burned up. And the, the only thing left is the things that she didn't do. Okay? Let's see where this goes. We're going to take about 10 minutes with this. Start with your object. Think about your line break, right? And at the end of each of those fully baked thoughts, if you will, I want you to break the line. And maybe this poem takes five lines, 10 lines. Just see where it takes you. And it'll tell you when it's ready to be finished. Okay? I'm going to try mine. You try yours. Let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, we're going to take a look now. Uh, the Naomi Shihab Nye's poem, Burning the Old Year, and see if we can't come up with her own poem. Remember, she starts with the object, letters swallow themselves in seconds. And the idea today is that each individual line is sort of a fully baked idea or phrase before we go to the next one. And we're going to start with an object, right? She starts with letters. I am going to start with, or actually, yeah, with letters, swallow uh, themselves in seconds, she says, or sort of as we're burning up this old year. Um, I'm going to start. My object is going to be, um, yes, how about this? I'm going to choose, well, something we were talking about just a moment ago, I'm going to choose bottles. All right, bottles. Okay, and let's see what they can do. She says letters swallow themselves in a second. I'm going to say, use our imagination here. This is sort of strange. See what happens. Bottles shiver in street light. Okay, again, that's a fully sort of baked idea or image, bottle shiver in street light, right? Um, canvases of oil of copper pots, right? Again, we're looking to create the line with the fully baked idea or thought before you go to the next one. Bottle shiver in street light, canvases of oil, of copper pots, bake the elements of understanding. No idea what that means or where it's going, but just Feel that phrase, right? Again, bake the elements of understanding. Full idea or thought or phrase before we go into the next one, right? Bottle shiver in street light, canvases of oil of copper pots. Bake the elements of understanding. Heat. Eating. Our own ideas, right? Again, we're just working with the phrase here, working with the phrase, and that's where the line breaks, right? 
bottle shiver in street light, canvas of, of oil, of copper pots, bake the elements of understanding, heat eating our own ideas. Okay, I think we're going to just put a period there, right? And maybe we'll start a new stanza here, right? Okay, and again, you want to, you want to stay with this. Only thoughts will do for dinner. Period. Right? There's my poem. It feels like I'm going to be finished right there. Right? It's much shorter than hers. But it feels like it, maybe I'm hungry. Maybe, let's see what, maybe I should have some lunch. It's getting about that time, right? Anyway, right? But again, each one of these is an individual thought and an individual image, and it feels like it's complete. Bottle shiver in street light, canvases of oil, of copper pots, bake the elements of understanding, heat eating our own ideas, only thoughts will do for dinner, right? Definitely, definitely feels like that's finished. Okay, and again, each one, each line break is an individual thought, an individual phrase, right? Until we get it to that final distilled moment, right? What am I going to call this now? We got to come up with a little title. It does feel like there's a lot of food happening here, right? Hmm, 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 hmm. Well, well, let's see. Ah. Just, I, you know what? I'm just going to call it Eat. Yeah, that's it. Eat. That's my poem. Let's see what you come up with. Take about 10 minutes with this, and when you get your poem, share it with us at the address on the screen. I'd like to share another poem from Naomi Shihab Nye's work that we have here at Poets House. This is from a book called Fuel. Fuel, and it's a beautiful cover here too. It's, it's, uh, it's like ants over cantaloupes, and it's just really striking image. I, I love this book. Um, this poem is called, Because of Libraries, We Can Say These Things. Because of Libraries, We Can Say These Things. She's holding the book close to her body, carrying it home on the cracked sidewalk down the tangled hill, if a dog runs at her again, she will use the book as a shield. She looked hard among the long lines of books to find this one. When they start talking about money, when the day contains such long and hot places, she will go inside. An orange bed is waiting, story without corners. She will have two families. They will eat at different hours. She is carrying a book past the fire station and the five and dime, what this town has not given her, the book will provide. A sheep, a wilderness of new solutions. The book has already lived through its troubles. The book has a calm cover, a straight spine. When the step returns to itself as the best place for sitting, and the old men up and down the street are latching their clippers, she will not be alone. She will have a book to open and open and open. Her life starts here. Because of libraries, we can say these things by Naomi Shihab Nye from the book called Fuel, right here at Poet's House. We'll see you next time on 101010 times 2.